The fact that Minecraft is still wildly successful all these years later is truly a testament to the fact that children crave labor. Hi there, I'm Ulysses L. Force, and I, for one, am tired of the U.S. government telling my kid he's too young to achieve his dreams. <laughs> Which is why I founded the very first trade school specifically designed for children. We guide the little ones in trades from A to Z before they can even count to three. And don't worry, safety is in our top five priorities, making sure your child lives long enough to see their first tour. Enroll today in the Ulysses Junior Memorial Trade School. Wall Force Freedomon got its start as a unique beatdown deck centered around the titular boss monster making multiple checks by unsuspending itself whenever a blue terror became suspended. It eventually became an afterthought. Until BT11 when I got a whole new line of support, and let me tell you it wasn't just a retrain, it was a whole fucking station. The BT-11 All Force Vedermon has a one digivolving evolving effect that allows you to play a Blue Tamer from hand without paying its cost, and during your turn, whenever a Blue Tamer is played, All Force Vedermon unsuspends itself. And on top of not having to run Tamers whose entire utility comes from being able to turn sideways, the more Tamers you get on the field not only gives you more swings, but boosts All Force's built-in removal effect. You see, once per turn, when Old Force Vedermon unsuspends, you can bounce a level 3 or lower Digimon to your opponent's hand. But you can increase the level of the target by 1 for each blue tamer you have on the field. And if you're a fellow Renaissance man, you know that 3 plus 3 equals 6. It's important to note that this is a when effect. So not only is this effect mandatory, it activates the first time Old Force unsuspends. So if you're missing the tamers, you're missing the timing. Now, a deck whose entire strategy required you to play tamers but only had one way of cheating them out for free would not be worth talking about. But what if I told you for just 4 easy payments of $49.99, you could build up a child army faster than Cody himself. Listen, I would love to tell you that you don't need the waifu tax secret rare tamer to make the deck work, which yes, that sentence does get worse after a single Google search, but unfortunately, Rhea Mia for BT11 is the only way this deck does work. Also unrelated, but did you know I have a TCG player? If Rina's on play effect allows you to give a card with Vmon or Vdromon in its name, the ability of block or evade. Evade being a keyword that allows you to avoid deletion by battle or card effect by simply suspending the Digimon, giving you a nice one-type protection in any color but blue, but man, we got the IRS matchup on lock with how much we're going to be evading. Style on him, Vmon, get him! <laughs> So your ideal situation is to have a suspended level 5 to digivolve Old Force into. Old Force can then play out Rena. Rena then can give it block or evade. Old Force now unsuspends because of Tamra was played. When Old Force unsuspends, it can bounce a Digimon on your opponent's side of the field. And now that Rena's on the field, the first time a blue Digimon would unsuspend, like in this case Old Force, you gain one memory. Yeah, that's nice. Wanna well, learn how to do a fucking infinite? Swing with the Old Force, and because of Vedermon got suspended, you can activate Rena's third effect to suspend her to activate Old Force's one digivolving effect. Now you can play out another Rena for free. You play out a Tamer, unsuspend. You unsuspend and gain a memory. Swing it again, go Rena for Rena, unsuspend, plus one. Swing it again, go Rena for Rena, unsuspend, plus one. A deletion, evade that shit. And now you suspend it again, so Rena for Rena, unsus- No, wait. Don't let him know about the fifth Rena. Uh, Davis. And this? is an all turns effect. Which means during your opponent's turn, if you have an active Rena and your old force becomes suspended, maybe by blocking or evading something, you can then activate the one digivolving effect of old force by suspending your still active Rena, giving you a free tamer during your opponent's turn. Now, unfortunately, you gotta remember that old force's ability to bounce and unsuspend only happens during your turn, which means you only get a free tamer. Which, fair enough, could you imagine getting multiple baits and bouncing stuff during your opponent's turn? The BT-11 Vmon has an on-play effect that lets you search the top three cards to add a Vdramon and a Blue Tamer to your hand. The BT-11 Vdramon has an effect that allows you to draw a card whenever a Blue Tamer is played, and they both have an inheritable that once per turn allows you to gain one memory whenever a Blue Tamer is played. Showing that plagiarism is actually pretty cool when you copy good shit! And now I reach the BT-11 Arrow Vdramon, which completes the holy trinity of the Old Force line. While on the field, Arrow Vdramon has an effect that allows it to suspend itself to search the top three cards of the deck and add all Blue Tamers to hand, and you know a card is good when it's activation requirements are a benefit to you. Because after searching, you have now reached your ideal situation of having a suspended level 5 without risking a swing. And its utility doesn't even end there, because it has a when attacking heralds that lets you activate the on-play effect of Arena on field, which means you're constantly refreshing block rate each turn whenever you attack. I don't know how these cards are so good, but it's not the top meta threat. Hey guys, I just finished reading the rules. It turns out you need 50 cards in a deck. I think the best way to display the power gap that the old cards have is to show you the original arena. A three cost tamer that on play lets you search the top three to add any V card into your hand. And when you attack, you can suspend it to give yourself a 1k boost. <laughs> It doesn't help that it has to compete with V-Tamer Tie, which lets you draw a card or give a 1k boost if you have a on the field, but let's be honest, the reason you play is because it costs two. Of course, you're not going to see any problem with the rookie lineup. Your V-Mods are still just as good, gaining your memory, allowing you to warp drawing cards on attack. One thing that's been incredibly useful, especially in Ulticup, has been the Dracomon engine. 
This involves you dropping your Wanyamon for EX3 Baby Drummon and EX3 Dracomon, a card that can make your Davis plus two serve as an additional searcher for any of your Dramon cards and provides your stack a 2k buff, meaning you're swinging in with 14k each turn. And then the level fours. <sighs> Yeah, with the old Vidramon line at the best, you're gaining some sort of niche utility, and at worst, you're suddenly remembering how bad physical card games are for the environment. In contrast, the level 5 lineup is really good, but at the end of the day, you really want a level 5 that can suspend easily, meaning the jamming structure deck arrow Vidramon is going to be your best choice. And while it doesn't refresh your arenas, if you have 8 or more cards in hand, it does give you an extra security attack. And while that helps you close out games faster, I am a little mixed on it, because you run the risk of proccing evade in the first security check and then dying to a second one. Unless Unless, of course, you have an unsuspend arena, in which case, because your evade got proc, you can suspend the arena to play out a tamer, unsuspend, and now second check, you maintain your stack. <laughs> Should I call this one Reno 101? Jesus Christ. None of your other level sixes come even close to the BT11 Old Force. I love the OG, but you don't have a when did evolving effect that you can abuse with Rena. Old Force Feedermon Zero can create an infinite loop with just one Rena, but that requires you to be way in the late game to really make that work. And I wouldn't even let this thing clog my gutters. But with BT12, we finally got a worthwhile level 6 in Old Force X. Old Force X costs 4 to Digivolve, or 1 if you put it on top of an Old Force, and when Digivolving, it can unsuspend itself or one of your blue tamers. You find yourself with an unsuspended Old Force after resting all your arenas, you can Digivolve into Old Force X, unsuspend arena, and now you get another two checks. It's a great extender, that's a no brainer, but it's actually even better as a defensive option. For each active arena you have, you get an additional activation of Blocker and Evade during your turn, and while its removal effect only targets the lowest level Digimon, it's an effect that can be applied during all turns. And it's crazy that despite the boost to offense, and defense, O-Force will never be ballin'. Look, one card is not enough to kill this deck. I mean, power creep doesn't help, but I think this deck can still hold its own thanks to how flexible you can be with your builds and tech choices. You go into Hyper Focus Spoiled, pivot into Source Stripping, even run a red engine to get access to the best blue card, a Delicate Plan. And despite knowing better, my favorite engine is still the Leomon engine. EX2 Leomon is a house. It fills up your level 4 requirements, a blocker when a blue tamer's on the field, and when it dies, it lets you gain 2 memory and draw a card. He's such a good card that he makes you run Jerry, the Schrodinger's cat of card design. It is simultaneous a fantastic extender and security bomb that lets you play a Leomon from free when it hits the field, and a terrible four cost tamer that only lets you draw one when your opponent attacks, and the only way to collapse the ray function is if you open a Leomon. <laughs> What have I done? I've got nothing on field. A single stack will just die to the death X if I build wide the metal grape punches. I can't even double hybrid because the fucking Leomon! I only got one out to this. I gotta find the fourth arena. Did you evolve Kuma? Did you evolve Arrow V? Arrow V effects. Damn it! How am I losing to this? A death X and a Leomon? A death X and a Leomon? A death X and. <laughs> For four, I'll go into all force. All force, play out Jerry. Jerry, play out Leomon. Unsuspend, return your blocker and gain three. With nothing left, your Death X activates. And you know as well as I that Leomon are built to die! Memory plus two! And my turn resumes! All Force for game! If I had to say your greatest misplay today, it was being born in my era. And then I lost to D Reaper.